Hello, this video is going to show you how to use the Oracle DV Governance custom plugin to get some data about your own projects, data sets, data flow and monitor these objects on your environment as well as how they relate. So first let us deploy the plugin. We've downloaded it from the Oracle Analytics Library and we're going into our console menu here in the extensions tab and we're going to add an extension so let's select our plugin click ok and then a message will prompt us that we have to refresh the page so we just hit f5 on our browser and that should upload the plugin now let's go and create a project so we can consume this plugin so create project we select any data set here because we just need a project to run our plugin. Now I'm going in the visualization, look for my plugin, what we just deployed. Here it is, governance plugin. So I'll drag it in the canvas and there is the UI. So I can right away start and gather object stats. This step can go for several minutes depending on how many objects you have in your OAC instance. So be patient, let it run. You may be prompted by your browser to click on letting this page run. Please do this. So it seems to have completed on my side, but it didn't download any data set. And this is because at the top, the downloads were blocked, as you can see. So if I click on the sign, I can see that I need to allow my browser to download content from this source. So you may have to do this on your side as well. So let me click OK and let me run it again. And as the plugin completes now, it will extract four files with data about my projects, my data sets, my data flows, my connections. This is all data from my OAC environment that I have in CSV files now here on my local machine. So I just need to go and create a data set in OAC and analyze this. But we have also created a specific project that you could reuse for this. So let me import that project. And that project is called DV Ob Object Governance. It's a DVA export. I import this in my OAC so I could reuse the work that was already done and I will refresh the data set when I imported the project it also imported the data sets and here they are sys project so I click on it reload data and I will use the text file that I just got from the plugin I will upload this data these are small data sets and again I will do the same with uh, data flow data sources data set here basically I have to refresh all the four data sets with the new CSV files that I just got. So reloading these data sets is typically quite fast because this, the files are small. They contain metadata about projects and objects. So that goes pretty fast. Okay, so here we go, we're done. So now we are going to leverage the data flow that was built with this project as well. So we compile all of these sources together. So we're running the DV object governance data flow. It's running right now and it completed. So uh, the data set for the project has been refreshed and now I can go and open the project. And here right away, I can see an overview of my OAC instance. It has 49 projects, 54 data sources, so many data flows, so many used data sources or data sources that are unused or projects or data flows that have a broken data source and so on. So if I click on the different tabs, I can see the list of connections and all the data sources that are built with these connections. In the next tab, I can see details about the data sources, what type they are, is it a repository, file based, how many projects are using them. And if I go to the next tab, I see the mapping between projects and data sources. How many projects are using which data source and vice versa. The next tab again is showing me the same for data flows, how many data flows are using which source. And eventually more and more tab will show you information about objects with broken data sources, unused data sets, or simply foldering of your object. Which folder contains what object, where are most of my projects, in which folder, which subfolder, and who owns them. So these are just pre-built visualizations based on this data set, but I can very well use the data set and build my own analysis using all the objects that have been extracted. There are several calculations as well in this project. So this simple plugin should give administrators a simple way to monitor details of content on their OAC environments. Thank you for watching that video.